The housing stats for December in the Waterloo region just came out and home sales are the slowest they've been in a decade. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Dylan Nissette. I'm a real estate agent servicing the Kitchener Waterloo region. So if you do need anything real estate related in the Waterloo region, send me an email. Besides that, let's get into the video. Now, before I get into the monthly stats, I want to go over an overview on how the real estate market was for the year of 2022. In 2022, in the Waterloo region, there are 7,770 homes sold. In terms of the amount of homes sold, 2022 wasn't only slower than 2021, it's been slower than the five and 10 year average. It is 12.4% slower than the five year average and it's 8.2% slower than the running 10 year average. This represents a 24.8% decrease from 2021. A quote from the president of the Waterloo Regional Association of Realtors, Megan Bell, reads, the number of homes sold in December was less than any single month in well over a decade, marking to an end of a turbulent year in home sales in the Waterloo region. For the month of December, there were 280 homes sold. This marks a 38.7% decrease from December of 2021. This is also a 32.3% decrease from the five-year average. For the month of December, the average home price was $720,596. This represents a 15.5% decrease from 2021 and is a 2.1% decrease from November of 2022. The average price of a detached home was $825,450, marking a 17.6% decrease from December of 2021 and is a 1.7% decrease from November of 2022. The average price for a townhouse in the region was $609,154. This represents a 17% decrease from December of 2021 and a 2.1% decrease from November of 2022. The average price of an apartment style condominium was $460,994. This represents a 7.9% decrease from December of 2021 and is a 1% increase from November of 2022. And finally, the average price of a semi-detached home was $616,671. This represents an 18.7% decrease from December of 2021 and is a 4% decrease from November of 2022. As we head into the tail end of the year, we're really starting to feel the effects of these Bank of Canada interest rate hikes. Throughout the fall time, prices remain stable despite rates rising, but now prices are starting to crumble a little bit. If you watched my YouTube video, I'm gonna put a card to it here of the November stats. We saw a very similar thing where prices are starting to teeter down a little bit. Now, being in December and the holiday season, things are a little bit slower, but as I talked about earlier in this video, home sales are down drastically. They're at a 10 year low. So with these high rates, as well with buyer uncertainty and still relatively low inventory, the market has been very sluggish the last few months. With all this being said, there could be good opportunities for you out there. As prices are going down, rates are high, but eventually they will have to come down. So if you can buy something at a good price, it could be a good opportunity for you. If you are interested in some good buying opportunities, send me an email. My email is gonna be linked in the description below. Besides that, this is all I have for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comment section or in my email in the description. I hope you found this video very informative. I have more videos like this coming out every week, so press subscribe. Besides that, I'll see you in my next video.